the unrest among the vessels of the Iron Throne continued, even as the small folk of the Crown Lands were starting to remark upon the peace and prosperity of King Gerald's reign. Agor Dragonscale of the Riverlands was fighting Elad Tyrell of Westerlands and Reach to regain control over Riverlander land. Elad Tyrell was captured during this war, and Aegon gained a significant bit of territory in the resulting ransom bargain. Stefan Baratheon of the Stormlands saw a chance to press his claim on Lady Ella's lands through his Tyrell mother, while Ella was in Lord Aegor's dungeon. However, he had underestimated the remaining strength of Lady Ella's wealthy kingdoms. Once she was released by Lord Aegor, she soon repelled the Stormlander forces. In 347 AC, the unthinkable happened. In a parallel to what had happened to his grandfather Aegor the Grand Patriarch more than 50 years before, a merchant arrived at King Gerald's court at the Red Keep. He carried with him an ornate chest containing one of the most valuable objects in the world, a dragon egg. King Gerald, who, like his father, had sent out men to find one all throughout his reign, happily paid the extortionate price, and immediately started to make preparations for the hatching ceremony, dusting off his grandfather's old tomes. During his candlelight readings of dragon lore, King Gerald was accompanied by his former squire and close companion Ormond Chetwood, now donning a white cloak as a brother of the King's Guard. The egg had caused great joy among almost all of the Blackfires at the royal court, but Matari's Blackfire, the king's half-brother, had frowned at the sight and disappeared from court that same night. The young prince returned later that year, his coffers filled with a loan from the Lord Magister of Lees and at the head of a great invasion fleet. He knew now was his last chance to press his claim. He would stand no chance at gaining the Iron Throne if his brother rode a fully grown dragon. And so, perhaps rashly, Matari's landed in the Crown Lands with a large army, intending to seize the moment while he still could. Simultaneously in the north, a man named Aaron Firestone coordinated with Prince Matari's and launched his own invasion fleet from Bravos to reclaim his ancestral holdings in Carhold. The second Blackfire War of Succession was not quite as destructive as the first. Prince Mataris had jumped into action too rashly and too ill-prepared. He had not gathered enough ships to land his full army all at once, and so had to make several round trips. This gave the Royal and Stormlander army and the commander Gerald Carlet plenty of time to defeat each landing party separately, never allowing Prince Mataris to combine all of his not inconsiderable force. King Gerald's other loyal vessels, Vale, Riverlands and North, meanwhile, dealt with a much smaller secondary invasion in Carhold. Aaron Firestone had expected all of the Iron Throne's forces to have concentrated on Prince Mataris, but had miscalculated and was quickly defeated. With the capture of Prince Mataris and his banishment to the Wall to join his half-brother Jainar, the War of Succession was over. As the armies returned to the fields, King Gerald proceeded to light a grand bonfire in the courtyard of the Red Keep. As he walked into the flames holding his dragon egg, many expected him to die. But the Blackfire King emerged on the other side of the fire, holding a young, sprightly dragon. The old-timers who had witnessed this ritual being performed 50 years before remarked that Gerald's dragon seemed much more lively and healthy than Aegor's had ever been. Was this truly the return of the Dragon Lords? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JJL Gaming. And the uh, eagle-eared among you might notice we have some new banging tunes. Uh, yeah, thanks to uh, Frederick Gross, the composer for this music. He made a whole Blackfire-themed playlist uh, on his YouTube channel. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. And uh, he, he kindly gave me permission to use this music in, uh, in the intro, which you guys just heard. And I also put them in the mix uh, just for the, uh, the background music, because it's great stuff and it's very thematically appropriate, because obviously we are all black fires here. Yes, welcome back to King Gerald and his wife, Alison. Uh, last episode, the unthinkable happened, as the intro said. We gained a dragon, black fire of King's Landing, who we're actually going to rename. Rename Dragon. We will first of all release him from the Dragon Pit. 
as a couple of you guys mentioned. Uh, because we want this dragon to grow big and strong. We don't want it to be tied down in the dragon pit, even though he's a zero-year-old dragon and the dragon pit is massive. But, you know, we're going to rename him as well, because I got a good suggestion from... Uh, <laughs> I, I wrote down the name, but I, I forget where I put it. Let's see. Um, from... Uh, from Kyle Ellison uh, in the comments of the previous video who suggested we name the dragon Niraitos, which I thought was a very cool name uh, so we will do that because Blackfire is really really uh, really really uh, well generic and <laughs> another shout out to, uh, to another comment who suggested we name it Dragon <laughs> which I <laughs> thought was a really really stupid name but really really fun as well <laughs> that cracked me up a bit yeah so the uh, Naritos Niraitos because Nira is, 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 is Italian for black and then uh, Aitos he is, 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 is Greek for eagle and we are uh, Gerald the Eagle so I think it was very a uh, very appropriate name and it, it, it sort of sounds like a vague mixture between Latin and Greek as all the uh, all the um, the Targaryen names do, except for Gerald, I guess. Uh, but we have a dragon, we have another adventurer, Thread Matari's Blackfire. What, really? You are in the Night's Watch, my man. Are you gonna come back for us? That's not possible, right? <laughs> well, let's, let's wait for it, I guess. Uh, we will wait, we will postpone the dragon, the massive dragon conquest of, uh, of Essos for a little while before our, uh, our dragon uh, grows up. Obviously, because uh, we wanted to tame it as well. Uh, and uh, that is why we're not a dragon rider yet, because we need to be two years old for that. Let's uh, continue the game. Uh, play KT Envoy with smooth words. I think we will wait a little bit with that. We can press some claims. We can press a claim to the cell sword infantry. Okay, not gonna do that. Gaiman has trained. He is now a poor fighter. Very nice. My genius little boy who is being trained by a Runsford Master of Coin with, as a steward. And he's turning out great. You're my second son. The third son, even. That's a shame, actually. He is turning out really, really well. And here's Dairo, Dairo Will, who also has the SOC uh, Valyrian hair, guys. So, unless my wife still has an, uh, still still carries on her affair with uh, with somebody, we are fine. I, I guess she is arbitrary and lustful, so <laughs> it's really not that unlikely that she cheated that she's cheating on me. But uh, oh well. Um, should we go for another tournament? Yeah, we we, we can do that. We can do that. To Lannisport. At least this is the Lannister family. They still hold Lannisport, huh? I think in Lore, this is one of the largest cities on Westeros, right? Lannisport. Nope, I'm not even through the uh, the first ranks, as usual. Uh, we can marry somebody. We can marry Jairis of the Vale to my half-sister, Rayleigh Nor. Yes, of course. Of course, Jairis. You can marry my half-sister. It's pretty damn gross. You can marry your own aunt, but, you know. You're a lunatic. That, that's going to be a fun playthrough. Paranoid lunatic. <laughs> he's 14 years old, so he's, he's growing up fast. Uh, we had a marshal vacation, eh? Right, yeah. So let's now assign him to a good marshal. For example, Gerald Carlet, who is a brilliant strategist. Yeah, that's uh, that's fair, I think. He, he didn't really grow up to be a great fighter, that's a shame. But uh, Gerald Carlet, oh, he's, he's got no fighting skill, I guess. But I mean, uh, my son is 14 years old. He's not going to be a much better fighter than he is now. Another war going on here in uh, in the reach, huh? With Paramount Ella, or oh, she won already? She's under constant attack, though. Probably because every asshole with a weak claim can press his claim. Oh, I should watch. I should watch my language nowadays, because I am monetized nowadays, guys. <laughs> so, uh, well, at least I should be. I mean, I turned all the all the stuff on in the YouTube Studio app, but uh, I don't know if it if it works yet. We'll see, I guess. Uh, Dynera, but if, if, if you guys watched any ads on this video, that money might go to me for once. So that's good. I mean, I did I did have to fill in some text forms and stuff, which I haven't, haven't gone through yet. Uh, Dynaya, yeah, she's, she's, um, she's Relore. That's not really great. All right, um, we should, we should pay attention though, because this was our, this was Lord Paramount Stefan II, who was our Hand of the King for a while. He died at age, age 68. Of cancer and stress and is succeeded by his grandson how are you related to this man where is Steph on the second breath in oh, this is me yeah my vessel here he is 
He already is his, his, his second cousin, I guess. No, he didn't have any le 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 any legitimate sons. So I guess he's got ag agnetic... Ag yeah, ag agnetic, yeah, so it wouldn't get past through any of his daughters. Ooh. Yeah, oh, no, it, it did pass through one of his daughters, I guess. So, uh, because I, I guess she married... Yeah, she married her family member. All right, so Aegon of the Stormlands, the grandson of Stefan Baratheon, is now Lord of the Stormlands. So we finally have some young blood there. Oh yeah, good point from uh, from Meteor in Discord. We should uh, we should upgrade our uh, our defense a little bit in King's Landing to make it uh, Fort Level Ten because Fort Level Ten means that people can't just uh, just storm it. And we should uh, we should also continue upgrading our refuge. I think. 5% disease resistance, yes. Dear King Gerald, I never thought I would feel the shame of asking a friend for some monetary help. Who are you fighting, my man? Methosia, invasion of Hasdan. Wow. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Jeez. That's pretty, uh... Pretty, uh... Pl pretty bloody, uh... Bloody uh, ambitious of you, uh, my man. Not sure we can give you some money. We have plenty of money. Uh, it was only rumors at first. Then people started talking. Then gossiping. Secret I tried to keep hidden, tried to deny and tried to shun, caught up with me and blared its to some ugly truth. I did not I did not desire the other sex. I wanted a man, not a woman in my bed. Jaina, you already did this. You already you, you already sent out those ravens and called us gay, but you did it again, I guess. Maybe um maybe he um he uh, he was riled up by his uh Hey. A Rhaegar is still his friend. Ah, oh, that's sad. That's sad. Yeah, I guess he was riled up by his um, brother, who arrived at the wall uh, somewhat recently. Where is he? Mataris. The only Rhaegar is not... Uh, the, he's my only brother. The only brother who is not revolted against me. Good going, Rhaegar. You don't like me? Put my kin in the oubliette. Oh, screw you, man. He was uh, he was revolting against me. Oh, we need a new Master of Whispers. Yeah, I forgot about that. I got uh, I lost, lost track there for a while. Let's find somebody. Let's find a random guy. Um, Andro of Nettledon, a Reachman. Maylis, his 17 intrigue. My son, can we, can we appoint him? No, he's too young still. He's turning out great though. Who is training him? Me, okay. I didn't know I was that intrigueful. Yeah, I guess I am cynical and, and, and lustful and other things. Maylis, you're turning out great. You might be my Master of Whispers one day. But I guess we're gonna go with this uh, this Richman. Oh, he's ambitious. Let's not do that. Let's go with uh, Richard Watford, a Richman. Ruth ruthless Ruth ruthless Richman. There you go, my boy. Please protect us. City of Duskendale has been inherited by the descendants of our boy Tristan, uh, the uh, the uh, defender. We now have. Sir Gerald, Gerald Carleth, who has uh, who's been our uh, our Lord Commander for a while, but we don't really have any land to give him. We might give him something though. He's 62. Can imprison the Lord Paramount of the Iron Islands? What, 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 what have you been doing? Kill your Lord Jonald. Okay. This is Lord Jonald. We've been killing, trying to kill this man. And he's been trying to kill, kill Thorin of the Iron Islands. And you could try to imprison him. Why not? Nope. Capture this, uh, capture the flag, capture the flag. <laughs> we failed to capture him, and he raised his flag in rebellion. Um, let's have the stormlands and a limb, right? Twelve thousand. Let's have some troops from the reach as well. Ninety thousand. <laughs> Good luck with that, my man. <laughs> this, oh, you, you hear this song, guys? This is a new song from uh, Mr. Frederick Rose. There's, uh, there's going to be a couple more in the mix as well. That's Kandil revolted, my man. Don't do that. Clap Lord John of an iron and leave the rest. Take them all into house arrest. Um, nah, just the Lord is fine. 100%. There we go. Thank you. Uh, this man let him bend the knee. Or send him to the dungeon or let him forfeit Duskendale. Send him to the dungeon. Yeah, you should send him to the dungeon, right? This man, uh, forfeit Massey's hook. He will also seize your your lordship and banish you to the wall for trying to kill 
the Lord Paramount of the Iron Islands, you man, you, 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 you uh, annoying man. I shall be merciful. Should we call him for trial? Or we can just immediately banish him to the watch. Let's do that. He's got an heir, right? And we want the House of Silent Watcher to remain. But this guy has, uh, has revolted against us. So uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna go, let, let, him get, let, let him get away with that. Why do you want the High Lordship of Dragonstone? Because you hold... What? Oh, you hold Driftmark. Oh, right. Yeah, we saw that earlier. We're not gonna give you the High Lordship, though. Okay, so now we have Massey's Hook. The High Lordship of Massey's Hook. Should we give it to one of our family members? I think so, right? We could give it to Damon. Or we could give it to Rhaegar. Rhaegar doesn't hold any land yet. It will, be, it will pass over to uh, to my nephew, though. Together with the Reach. So it will eventually move out of the Crown Land. So I don't know if I want that. We'll give it to one of Aegor Dragonskill's uh, kids. He turned out to be a pretty loyal brother. His line is hanging by a thread, though. Dagar is his only le legitimate son. But I guess we are agnetic cognetic, right? Yeah, so uh, m women can inherit, so that, that's fine then. Um, ah, we could give it to uh, to our Lord Commander, right? Our uh, Paramount Commander, Gerald Carlet. I think he deserves it. He's been helping us out. If uh, if I wouldn't have landed, if, if, if I wouldn't have put Ormond on the King's Guard, my uh, my former squire, I would have would have given it to him. Here you go, my man. Have uh, the high lordship of Massyzuk. Enjoy that. You've been a Leon able servant. Let's hope you are able to procreate. I will turn the music down just a bit. It's it's good, pretty good music, but uh, oh, it's it's all the way up here. Yeah, it makes sense. Excellent news. Bit of money. Uh, I need to take a look at the buildings in King's Landing and figure out how to reinforce them and make them harder to conquer if the counter county would be besieged. The buildings did not inspire me in any way, but I have a friend who is excellent at this, at this kind of thing. Wallace Stone, Lord of the Bite. Sure, you can help me. One stewardship. Ooh, nice. Build cost minus 20%. Wow, a local build, build modifier minus 20%. Damn. that That's actually pretty great. We should, we should take advantage of that. We're going to increase the... Uh, it, it's now at four level ten. Okay, so that's good. I want to increase the steward's tower. Yep. Let's continue on. Um, uh, this is the main theme <laughs> that the guy made. This is a pretty great song, actually. I think I put this one in the intro as well. Do 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 do. Very uh, ominous. It reminds me also of the Heart of the Dragon theme a bit. One of, one of the themes in Heart of the Dragon sounds very similar. I guess I stole it from him. Because <laughs> this guy, this video is, his videos are from like 2018. He's been making them for a while. Oh, Lord Paramount, Lady Paramount Ella died. Was murdered on the orders of Lord Lucas of Casterly Rock. Lucas Tyrell, you dastardly kinslayer. Who, who inherited them? Damon, Damon of the Reach. Lord Paramount Damon Blackfire. All right, so we have a black fire on the throne of the Reach and the Westerlands. Very nice. Yeah, we will, of course, make him Warden of the West. Should we, should we become his guardian? I think that's probably a, a good idea. We are his uncle, after all. And he doesn't have any... Oh, yes, uh, Rhaegar still. No, Rhaegar can train him, I guess. Although he's not turning out that well. What is your education? Court. Yeah, we can, we can help with that. Hello, my man. My nephew, welcome. Arranged betrothal. Prince Rhaegar, my half-brother. To Prudence of Pep, a three-year-old. I mean, nah. <laughs> Rhaegar, do you want to come over to my court, though? No, I guess not. We could marry you to somebody. You're only 30 years old, after all. Let's see, arranged marriage. Between you and... I guess we really don't have many betrothal, maybe. Between you and... Oh, these girls are all too young. Hmm. Dynastic meddling. We can do that again, though. Um, a few words here about his habits. Uh, I should try working harder. Uh, let's have to give him some health. Tame a dragon. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of waiting for that one. Because uh, my dragon is now two years old. So we can try to tame it. Is that... Uh, probably we have quite a good chance of doing that, right? Because it's our own dragon. 
We are Blackfire. You now have to decide how you will approach this wild beast. I will tame the dragon. Yes, you have successfully tamed Neuritos. The world is mine. We are a dragon rider, boys. 40% <laughs> morale damage. 40% morale, de morale defense. A two-year-old dragon. I is he any good? Not yet. He's still very small. We could now use his... His, the, the, the dragon conquest CB, right? Yeah, here it is. Dragon conquest of Sunstone. And we might as well try it out on this little island. I think he will probably surrender. I mean, he, he should do that because he, you know, he should be smart about it. Um, uh, is Marshall greater or equal to 10? Has trade dragon rider any friend dragon has a trade dragon? That's the case, right? Why can we not do this? Let's try dragon as martial, greater or equal to 10. Okay. We need to have a bit more martial, I guess. The dragon is not quite big enough to do the uh, dragon to be. That, that makes sense, I think. That makes that ma makes a lot of sense. Uh, we can get a new ambition, though. A nice wealth of the lifestyle. See the realm prosper. Hmm. How much wealth do we need to amass for this? Uh, not, not that much. Only a thousand gold. We can do that easy. What's happening here in uh, in the Reach? My man, Damon? Damon Blackfire, yes. Lord of Paramount. Lord Paramount of Westerlands and Reach. We can have a look at the dynasties now, because I think... Yeah. <laughs> this whole chunk of land is just owned by Blackfires. And we are pretty close to having a Blackfire on the throne of the North as well, I think. And Dorne as well. We're also working on that one. Yeah, so no, the North is going to be soon, actually. Because Sabata is already, four, uh, is already 13. So once Rickard dies, and then Sabata dies, you know, uh, assuming she gets any kids with Melees, then there will be a black fire in front of the north. And, and the Martels uh, have Daisan, who is married to... Oh, this is a Baratheon, I guess. I thought we married that that girl. Oh no, th this guy is going to inherit, right? Quentin of Pep. He's married to, uh, to a black fire. And then Prudence of Pep is three years old. We could marry her to... To Gaiman, maybe? Or, or Olador? My nephew? He's about the same age. That's that's fine, I guess. We should also marry off um, our second son, Meili. So he's already married. He's married to Lady Sabata. Right, right, right. Our, our third son is Gaiman, who's not yet married. We could marry him to... Yeah, to maybe... Maybe like one of our our, our other daughters, Viserys, who's four years old. Visera could do that. Let's uh, let's hold off on that though. It's not it's not urgent. He's my second son. He might want to uh, join the second sons, you know, the the mercenary company. Seems that the Reach is having quite some trouble keeping uh, keeping themselves on the throne. There's a quite a quite a major revolt against them uh, ongoing. They have, they have some trouble uh, putting it down, it seems. The courtier Sir Donald Manderley has uh, expressed a desire to get married. Ah, marry as you please, my man. Marry as you please. I don't care about the Manderleys, they're too far away. My grandson, Damon Blackfire, died of the dreaded plague. Really? That's a great sickness. It's a great sickness uh, coming. Uh, where's the epidemic one here? I don't see any great sickness. Yeah, I think sometimes you can just get it randomly. Just a game saying fuck you, I guess. This is, oh, this is my future heir. Jaharis has grown up, though. Brilliant strategist. Ooh. He's got a nice crown as well. He married his half-sister, my half-sister, Redinor. We might want to make him our uh, com our commander, right? Our master, uh, master at arms. Yeah, I think we can do that. I think we can do that. We can we can go for some nepotism. He's, he's, not the, he's not the best one by far. But he is pretty good. And he's my heir. Need some training, right? Don't you, Jaharis? Be my best right arm. So we have three black fires now on the council. Do you have any good master of coin? No, no nobody is better than Runsford. Runsford Hunt. We don't really have many black fires that are good at uh, intrigue, though. There, there's one coming, though. I think it's uh, Melee's, right? Yeah, he's, he's got 17 intrigue. I think once he grows up, he will become our spy master. Oh, we ordered this guy to stand down. Uh, to help our uh, our nephew out, and uh, he said yes, surprisingly. So uh, our nephew's reign is safe for now. 
Should marry him though. Ah, he, he can he can he can figure out his own marriage. That's fine. You don't need to tell him who to marry. Ah, we uh, we reached our ambition to become rich. We could switch uh, away from scholarship focus, I guess. Get to family focus, maybe. Bit of the lifestyle, sure. Um, we're cynical, gregarious, proud, ambitious, lustful. Hmm. Could go hunting. Train, uh, train ourselves a little bit, or war. I think war focus is, is good for now. We can uh, train up our uh, our poor fighting skill a little bit. I've seen how Septon Roger handles words, and it's not a pretty sight. Every time he seems to forget, which shot is a sharp one. Should I laugh or should I cry at Septon Roger's incompetence with the sword? I can only try to help him. Yeah, we will help you. You're, you're my buddy. Now, oh, Gerald the second Carla died. Ah, that's a shame. I guess we will give it to uh, to a black fire, right? As Hook shall revert to the king. We will get a little bit of uh, tyranny. But I think that's fine. So uh, I don't think we will give it to any of the uh, the family members there. We will give it to a black fire. Prince Melis. We can give it to Prince Melis. Or Gaiman. Gaiman is not uh, not yet married. And he is a genius. Because, uh, yeah, Prince Melis is eventually going to inherit the north. Gaiman is so far not going to inherit anything, so I think we will give it to him. My boy, my little, my little, my little boy, we will give you the Lordship of Stone Dance and the High Lordship of Messi's Hook. Enjoy that. The other two are angry. Well, they can they can suck it, honestly. <laughs> Child seems mad. Who is this? Vesera seems mad. Okay, that's fine. And the seventh of the North is ready to marry Melis. All right. Yes, of course. She's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. You're, you're a lucky uh, lucky boy, uh, Melis. I'm gonna inherit the north one day if all goes well. The lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall. Tearfully, she told me that my daughter-in-law Sabata had insulted her again. And she's honest, right? My dear lady, you are fat. She might become rude. Praise her honesty to the court. Yeah, that's that. I mean, she's a Stark, right? So she should be an honest, honest woman. She's turning out pretty well, actually. Yeah, my wife has been uh, training her, I guess. Quentin of Pep and Princess Jihaira have another son. These guys are eventually going to inherit Dorn. With Valyrian hair. Your Grace, I have for some time now been, been observing the poor performance of Master at Arms, Prince Jihairis, whose failures have become a burden for the entire realm. Wow. My supporters and I ask that you remove him from office at once and appoint me to the council in his stead. Everyone seems to want that. Yeah. I mean, I guess so. I guess so, Jaharis. I'm sorry. You're just not cut out for uh, for being a master at arms, man. I might want to want to give you uh, the regency, though. We could give. We could do that. But you're also not not that great <laughs> at uh, at stewardship, so I don't know if I should do that because I think my wife would do a bang up job being a regent. Better than you, if I uh, if I uh, <laughs> if I would speak would speak plainly. Matarius' son is ready to receive a guardian. We could just have Matarius do it. <laughs> Where is he? Uh, Olador. Olador. Olador Prince. Where's Matarius? Here he is. You can train your own son at the uh, Night's nice Watch, my man. And we also have Tyranny again. He sent out <laughs> his little six year old boy to the Night's nice Watch. Wait. My half brother Prince Vegar has been beset by a high fever for several days, and I have just been informed that this affliction is indeed winter fever. But more importantly, he's wearing the cloak of a black brother. What happened? Rhaegar, my uh, former Lord Paramount of the region of the Westerlands, has been sent to the wall, or maybe he went there voluntarily. Wow, that's a twist. There's another, another brother at the Night's Watch, huh? We have Jainar, Rhaegar, and Mataris. They're all. They're all at the at, <laughs> at the wall, at Castle Black. Wow. I'm I'm the only male Blackfire of my generation who is not a Black Brother. Wow, that's quite something. <laughs> that's quite something. I don't know what you did, uh, Rhaegar, but you do seem to have done something because you are dishonorable. But now he has winter fever, so maybe he will not live long anyway. Oh, protect the realm uh, against, uh, guard the realms of men and all that, I guess, <laughs> Rhaegar, wow. 
<laughs> I was, yeah, some of you put your bets on, on him to be the next the next guy who, uh, who makes our life difficult, the next uh, big revolter, the next adventurer. But um, I guess he sent himself to the watch. Maybe he was preempting uh, pre that. Uh, the peasants of Summerhall are having frequent, frequent troubles with highwaymen and wild beasts. Yeah, we, uh, we will send, on, send some money there. Expand the sick house in King's Landing. Two stewardship for Melis. Wow. Melis is doing great, man. Oh, we're getting a naive appeaser. That sucks a little bit. That sucks a little bit. <laughs> I mean, we should have, I guess, switched him to um, to a guy who, um, who had a good, uh, a good spy education. A good uh, intrigue education. Oh, well. Uh, oh, what happened? I, I missed that. Oh, he's, he's there at war again, huh? Lord Paramount Damon of the Reach. Uh, in Reachman, Riverman, the Zero War over Pender Kills. Alright. There's an yet another war between uh, Riverlands and, uh, and, and, and and the West. The big the big chunk here in the West. Oh well. I uh, As long as they fight between each other, they're not fighting me. So I uh, I don't mind so much. Gerald has been a lot a lot longer lasting than I, I gave him credit for when we uh, we um, when he inherited the Iron Throne. I, I thought, you know, he's not the best Blackfire. He's got some good diplomacy, but he's, he's certainly not a genius or anything. Uh, but but he's been holding on for the, to the Iron Throne for a good uh, 23 years. And he's also ruled as the Lord of the Vale for even uh, for 15 years before that. So he's turning out pretty well, actually. He's already 54 years old. He looks even older than that. But he's got an heir lined up who still hasn't got the son of his own. Come on, uh, Jairus, get going. Jairus also is not... It doesn't have the Valyrian heir, so he might be... He might be... Uh, he might be uh, uh, a, a bastard, who knows. Daughter was born to Prince Melis of the Iron Throne and Lady Sabbath of the North. Named Danis. Alright. Okay. Very nice, my, uh, my son. Let's just hope Sabbath inherits the North soon. I think, well, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not going to murder Lord Paramount Rickard, right? We will, we will let him die uh, off by himself. I don't think he's going to get any more kids. His wife is 43, so he should be fine. Get okay, a prison, Lord Paramount Aegon of the Stormlands. Aegon Baratheon. That's also pretty cool, actually. That he named... He named his, uh, his kid Aegon. I guess he the, the, the Baratheon... The friendship between the Baratheons... And the Blackfires has been uh, pretty strong uh, during most of our reign. So maybe that's why he picked a very very uh, Baratheon-y name. And the Baratheons, of course, uh, descend from Aegon the Conqueror as well. At least that's the um, the idea. Well, not descend from Aegon the Conqueror, but descend from Aegon the Conqueror's dad. Uh, you know, the, the rumor is that uh, Aegon and Ori's Baratheon... Ori's... Um, what 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 what, what, uh, what was his name before he became a Breton? I forget. Anyway, he uh, that he was the half brother of uh, of uh, of Aegon the Conqueror. So we are we are distantly related, the Bretons and us, and uh, we've not really been uh, been trying to uh, get into uh, their action yet. We've not really been trying to making any plays against the uh, the Stormlands. I mean, well, the Castle Town, the Red Keep is really making a lot of money now. Base tax twenty four. Tax 87. It must be one of our most profitable uh, endeavors, right? Yeah, 46. Damn. Plus two chips, plus 90%. Okay. But yeah, this, the Red Keep is, um, is the majority of our income right now. It's the single largest contributor, I think. Yeah, even like the, the feudal vessels are, are, are not even close to, uh, to making us that much money. So we're gonna gonna continue upgrade upgrading um, upgrading King's Landing then. Um, large estates we need stewards barracks. Yep, we'll do that. I've been informed that Prince Jairus has come to the to King's Landing. Has requested an audience with me in order to pay me homage, as is tradition for a newly appointed vessel. Vessel. Yes, send him in. Uh, it is not easy to suffer the sight of Prince Jairus for even a short moment, as the time that it takes for him to recite the oath of vassalage. For even as short a moment as the time it takes it takes him to recite this oath of vassalage. It's been a while since I saw a man so repulsive. Wow. <laughs> Is this how you present yourself to your king? 
I guess uh, uh, Gerald and Jerry's have a difficult father-son relationship. I mean, it makes sense. Look at this guy. He's a lunatic. He's rude. But he's also patient, temperate. He's, 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 he's uh, charitable. He's paranoid. Yeah, he must. he's probably got a terrible relation with King Gerald. Because King Gerald is really not... I mean, he's a family person, so he does... I, I guess like Tywin, he really cares about the Blackfire dynasty. But he's also... You know, cynical, but for big guy, cynical, gregarious, I guess. He's proud. He probably wouldn't give his son compliments very soon. He's ambitious. He probably holds everybody to a very high standard, including his son. So, uh, eh. He says, oh, you present yourself to your king. I, I seem to have made a very positive impression on Prince Harris. <laughs> okay, well, he's trying to uh, trying to win, uh, win, uh, win, um, win our approval, I guess. <laughs> G. Harris, the red-haired. My wife died. Ah, oh, no. Queen Alison Blackfire has died, and now it falls upon you to decide whether to make the funeral a big and special event or keep it a small and private one. Yeah, a big, a big funeral. Everybody, everybody is invited. Oh. Ah, oh, died from too much drinking. <laughs> we died, guys. Wow. Okay. That's, oh, that's, ah, uh, that's very sad, actually. That, uh, my wife died, and only, only days afterwards I died. King Gerald the Eagle has, has passed away. He's ruled uh, the uh, the Iron Throne for what 25 years. He's uh, he's been overall a good king. He's, uh, he's 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 returned the dragons to uh, to the Blackfire Dynasty. He's uh, he's managed to keep the realm remarkably stable. Well, not really. I guess there's been there's been at least one major revolt, but. Still, um, he's, he's really expanded the power of House Blackfire. He was not the easiest man to deal with. He was not a very strong fighter, but he was incredibly, uh, incredibly good at persuasion, the art of persuasion. He, uh, he managed to fight off his, his brothers and his uncles for the throne and managed to stay on it remarkably long without a drawn-out war of succession. So I think that, that in and of itself is worthy of uh, celebration. But it's now time. For Jaehaerys II, the indolent of the Iron Throne, married to his aunt, I guess. He's overall, well, he could go either way, really. He's, uh, he's got some good traits, he's got some bad traits. He's a pretty good marshal. He's not a genius, though, like uh, many of his brothers are. So uh, let's hope uh, there won't be another succession crisis. He's also not got the, uh, the white Valyrian hair. I think maybe we will give him another haircut. Yeah, we will give him the long Valyrian hair, right? And the big beard. He's he's not hiding his uh, his uh, his hair color. He's not afraid of uh, being being seen as illegitimate. He's proud and flaunting it. Uh, so be it. We expect him to lead us to many victories on the battlefield. Yes, I hope so. Let's just hope he is able to tame the dragon wherever it is. Uh, I have a new a new heir, Prince Aerys. So I did I did get a son, I guess. He was born four mo four months ago. Attractive son, Prince Ares. All right. Uh, we have a regent, do we? Why? Why do we have a regent? We don't need, need a regent. We're already 21. Well, we're in, in hiding, I guess. Can we come out of hiding? Yep. Let's do that. Let's come out of hiding. Now it falls on you to, make, to, to, to decide to make the funeral a big and special event or keep it a small and private one. No, no, no. Obviously, it's going to be a very, very big funeral. Yep. Long live the king. All right. Let's... Appoint the council. Agor Dragon Skill can remain hand, I guess. It's been hand for decades. Might as well uh, stay at uh, stay hand now. The High Septon, I guess, can be a Master of Laws. That's fine. Thaddeus done. Thaddeus the Fearless. Maybe we'll make him the uh, the uh, the Master of Laws, the Master of Arms again. I think that makes sense. Uh, Runsford obviously will remain Master of Coins. Melee's has grown up. My brother. Let's make him the. Spy master, terrible idea, I know, but it's nice for roleplay. <laughs> Here, have some money, Melis. We might give you um, give you a title, though. Should we give him the veil? I feel like that's a terrible idea. We should give it to our heir, right? Obviously, or um, traditionally, I mean. Need the new master. We have one. Um, do we have any other titles we can give to him? To uh, to our brother. To. Uh, Shut him up. Here he is. My brother. Will we make you the Lord Paramount of the Veil? Vale? Is that a good idea? Could make him Lord of Dragonstone, I guess. But I kind of want to move to Dragonstone, though. 
because it gives it gives you some uh, some advantages for uh, for growing a dragon. Prince Dikairis needs a new guardian. What's your education? Court education. Who is he's not turning out very well though. I mean he is, but he's turning out very dangerously. That's what I mean. Really no, sure why not? My brother, he's a genius. He's turning out to be a great spy master. Realm and rest plus seven and a half revolt risk. Triggered the unrest throughout the realm. Challenges to Blackfire rule are emerging, emerging with many small folk and other bandits, uh, bandits and outlaws, causing trouble. Ouch. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess uh, Prince King Rhaegar has been ruling for a long time. We need a new uh, improved combat ability. Yeah, let's do that. We need a good combat ability. Switch to war focus as well. We need to defend our realm, and we also need to give away. Uh, the the veil, I guess. I mean, it might not be a bad idea actually to give it to Gaiman, to uh, Melees. I mean, I know it's not the traditional thing to do. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Uh, have the my Melees, my man. Have the Lordship of the Eyrie. Have the High Lordship of Giant's Lands. Uh, and have the can we. Well, we, do, we don't want to be... We want to reduce it from the kingly status, though. But I guess we can do that. Because uh, Damon will probably... Uh, will probably be fine with that. Right? If, uh, but... Uh, revoke royal privilege. Increases tyranny by 10. Okay, now I guess we will, we will keep it as a royal privilege for now. Because we, we need the, the opinion bonus with uh, with our other vessels. Or we'll, we'll, we'll get revolts. Tame a dragon. Yeah, let's do that immediately. Tame that dragon. Let's get this regent. Hey, got dragon skill, I guess, for now. Yeah, my hand of the king. That sounds uh, fine to me. I will tame the dragon. The world is mine. Okay, good. We tamed Neraitos, the young, tiny dragon. So that's good, at least. I'll grant titles to whoever I want. Thank you, Jacaris. Shut up. Shut up, you guys. You guys. We we need to give it to our spy master. We need to keep him happy. That does make him Im immediately a loyalist. And as we've learned in the past, is that the unlanded Blackfires are the ones who give us the most grief. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with that that outcome. I think probably uh, uh, my little boy son, Ares, will probably not be that happy. But I mean, we're not going to give the fill to a zero-year-old kid, right? Alright. I think we set up our realm uh, for now, but I really sincerely doubt if we will be able to keep it. There's no factions yet, though. I guess uh, because the two main Blackfire players are fighting each other. Damon and... Uh, do you have a... Yeah, strong claim on the Iron Throne. Damon and uh, Ego Dragonskill. Ego Dragonskill likes us, though. So that's good, I guess. I guess he will remain loyal. He really has been the end of the king for decades and decades. This guy. He's, he's turned out to be a true crown loyalist. He's gonna die soon, though. So <laughs> Let's hope his son is uh, equally competent. Nope. <laughs> he is not. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Remember to check out uh, Frederick Rose's channel. Uh, at a, uh, he's been pre presenting me with uh, some of the banging tunes that we've been uh, listening to. Some of the great Blackfire music. So, uh, have a look at that. Uh, yeah, if you guys see ads on this video, that's because I've been monetized. Finally. <laughs> well, finally. I, I don't know about that. I, I'm still doing this as a hobby. I will never make enough money that I will quit my job. Uh, I'm sure of it. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you guys uh, see ads, know that that money is going to me and I appreciate you watching those ads. Um, if you have YouTube Premium, I think a cut of that goes to me. If you want to give me some money directly, I uh, also enabled the YouTube thanks thing. In the uh, that's, that's the button with the like the heart with the dollar icon in it. If you want to give me some money through that, that's, that's, that's I mean, it's more than welcome. Uh, but don't feel obligated at all. I mean, you guys can watch my videos for free uh, all the time. I will never put them behind any paywall or anything um yep thank you guys for watching uh and uh next episode hopefully we will start the dragon conquest under jaharis and if we can you know keep uh, keep ourselves in the saddle uh, we are a lunatic so it makes sense we would go on a dragon conquest i guess so that's already nice uh thank you guys for watching and uh see you next time bye bye <laughs>